Hello, my name is Curtis Steele, and I am the application developer for the ProWall Commander Control System. In this video, we will go through scale calibration and scale function. If you have any questions after viewing the video, please call ProWall Support at 403-335-9500. If your machine is equipped with scales on the cement bin, there are a few options to go through on the display as far as calibration and functionality of the scale system. Right now we'll go through the uh, scale calibration just so you can see how the scales get set up. So if we go to menu, sensor calibration, and you hit on the scale at the top right, it'll take you into the scale calibration screen. So we're looking specifically at uh, the cement here in this case, so you hit cement. What we have on the screen here is a few different uh, options. It's just essentially this uh, column here, which is the cement scale. So right now, this is a simulator. It's just showing uh, that there's almost 3,400 kilo or 3,500 kilograms in the bin. The cement offset would typically be uh, preset at the factory. That would be the actual weight of the cement bin empty, uh, which is somewhere around 700 kilograms. The cement gain uh, is also set at the factory before it leaves, but if you have to um, recalibrate your scales, uh, you would want to adjust that value for the cement gain. Uh, typically, we would start at a gain of 1, but it could be 1.001. It, it, it de depends on the scales themselves. So there's a few uh, items on here. Set offset is, again, that's set typically at the factory for the uh, empty weight of the bin. You can reset the calibration if you want to start all over. Uh, we typically wouldn't want to do that, especially if the offset's been preset, but uh, it is there if we need to. These two are the important ones here, so gain calc and set gain. So there's two ways you can set the gain for the, for the, the scales. You can put in a known weight in the bin, and if you know that weight, you can type it in here. So if this was actually, say, 3,500 uh, kilograms instead of the 3,479.4, you can type in 3,500 here, and you can hit Gain Calculate, and it will adjust the gain accordingly. Uh, because this is a simulator, it's not going to show it properly because there's no actual weight. This is a simulated weight. But, but just to show you the process, that's, that's what you can do. If you, if you want to adjust the gain manually, you can set it here, in this case 1, and we can just hit Set Gain, and it'll just put the value right in there. If I wanted to go 1.001, for example, and hit Set Gain, I can put it in there and manually adjust it up to 3,500. So those are just a couple of ways to set the gain. Again, this would be typically preset at the factory anyways, but uh, down the road, if you do, do need to do a, a recalibration of your scales, this is how you do it. This value here on the, uh, the bottom right is a reference, so you can actually see what the scale weight is on each corner. There's three load cells on the uh, cement bin, uh, one being the back left, two being the right, and three being the single load cell, the very, very back of the bin or closest to the mix auger. It's just a reference, uh, just to make sure that uh, your load cells are all getting a reading and, and working properly. The other thing you can do from this screen, once everything's set up, if you want to tear your bin, you can hit the tear cement button here. It'll bring up a, a screen like this, so you can say yes or no, you want to tear. If you hit no, it'll just go back. If you do want to tear the bin, you hit yes. And what it'll do is it'll set everything to zero to start. Again, it's not going to do that on the simulator, but in this case, this essentially would go to zero. The tear weight would show 3479.4, and you'd start from, from zero. So that's the, the main scale calibration page. Now what we'll do is we'll just go through a couple other things that you might see uh, as far as changes with the scales versus a standard machine without, and one of those things is the cement calibration page. So if we go back to the menu, go mixer calibration, with, uh, with the scales, you can actually use the actual depleted weight 
in your uh, calibration screen. So if you hit this button here, use scale weight, what that does is as you're running off your sample of cement powder, when I hit one of these trial load buttons, it'll actually load the counts and the actual depleted weight into the boxes. So you don't really have to, in the old system, you had to hit that, type in a weight and uh, for each one of these trials. Now if you have scales, you can just hit the trial and it'll automatically load in both the counts and the weight value. So as long as that's selected, uh, that's one of the features of having the scales is it's, it's already there. So as far as the uh, depleted weight. So that's, that's the one main difference or one main difference with um, the mixer calibration screen for, for the cement in this case. The other thing that is different, I'll go back to the menu. So if we go menu, mixer settings, and mixer options, you'll see with scales or a unit that has scales, the scales on will be checked. And what that does is it makes visible all the various scales reading. So your totals, your depleted weights, all that kind of thing. So if the unit has scales, that should be checked. We'll go back. Another thing you'll notice is uh, on the mixer setting screen here, you can actually set uh, a low level amount for the weight in the bin. So as this example shows at 200 kilograms, what will happen is the, uh, if you're mixing concrete, the belt will stop at 200 kilograms left in the cement bin. An alarm will come up on the screen warning you that it's uh, cement low level. You can override it if you just have a little bit left to, to pour, but uh, it is there as, a, as a, a warning if you're not uh, paying attention to how much is in the bin. So that's an option. There's also an option for, um, you just hit the, the low and you can rotate this dial. You notice there's a little um, up down arrow that allows you to set a high level as well. So if you're filling the bin from some other source, you have the ability to um, trigger that, whether it's a feed auger or a silo or whatever, to stop based on a bin weight of 2,500 kilograms in this case. So there's a low level and a high level trigger available if you have uh, load cells on your bin. The last thing I wanted to show you here is if we go back, let's go back to the menu, mixer settings. There's this option here called cement auto. So if that's checked, what the mixer does is it monitors the um, weight per count of the cement auger as it's mixing. So essentially what it's doing is it's comparing that weight per count to the value in your mix entry. So if it's not achieving the weight per count in, in a period of time, and typically right now they're set somewhere around that five second mark, Every five seconds, it does a check. It looks to see if the if the weight per count is is um, matching what's in the mix mix design or mix entry screen. If it doesn't see that it's matching, it'll either speed up or slow down the mix auger auger accordingly. So it, it, it's 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 just doing fine adjustments. So it's not it can't completely slow it down or speed it up beyond the limit of the hydraulic system. So what you'll see is small RPM changes in the, in the cement auger if, uh, if that value isn't being maintained. So with that cement auto option, again, that's, that's like a fine-tuning adjustment of the auger speed based on um, your uh, weight per count coming off the auger. So that is an option. So you, you can have that checked or unchecked. The, the unit will still run even if it has scales without that check, but uh, if you want to have that fine tuning kind of auto feature active, then make sure that box is checkmarked. Thanks for watching this video, and please contact Pro Support if you have any further questions.